Hey, this is Kevin Tobel with JK on the Run. I'm a little tired from my late night round trip from uh, Philadelphia to New York City and back for digital experience. You can probably tell I'm in my comfortable blogging clothes and having a bad hair day with no product in the hair. But, you know, I wanted to do a follow up on yesterday's video which showed you how to take a smartphone, Windows Mobile 6, and uh, use the internet sharing via Bluetooth for PC. It's so working well for some people. I got some email feedback, but I also got a question from JK on the Run Reader Jose, who said, hey, it's working great for my trail on my PC, but can I do this on my Mac? Absolutely you can. Let me show you how real quick. Turn this camera around. Kind of get myself set up here. and Actually show you my setup real fast. We've got a MacBook Pro here and a second monitor. UMPC next to that. I'm going to show you that, hopefully you can see it actually, that Firefox is showing a server not found and that's because I have shut off the Wi-Fi on the Mac. So let's get these devices paired up first of all. Bluetooth is on for both devices. This is a little convoluted, um, at least it's the only way I can get it to work. And let's see if I can show you here on the T-Mobile dash. Let's give this a second to hopefully focus. If I can bring this in, that's a little better. There we go, we're going to add a new device. It's going to search for devices, and it should find my MacBook Pro, which is just called Kevin Tofel's computer, because I couldn't come up with anything original. There it is. I'm going to say next. I'm not going to enter a passcode here. I'm just going to say next. And now the smartphone has connected to the computer. But you know what? You're not done there. And that's because I'm just going to hit next here for the display name and click done you don't even need to choose any services okay so you can now see bluetooth devices i've got samantha which is the umpc and kevin Topol's computer which is the macbook pro all right let's get back to the mac for a second let's go up to the top right see if i can zoom in a little bit here and go up to the bluetooth icon because oddly enough you need to do the setup bluetooth device i'm not sure why that is it's not a straight pairing it's kind of like you pair it from one, pair it from the other, but it seems to work for me. So here we get a Bluetooth setup assistant. I'm just going to hit continue. And now you select your device type. Obviously we're choosing mobile phone in this case. And continue. It's now searching for the phone. Sure enough, found the T-Mobile dash. If you don't see your phone name, you may see the MAC address of your phone. Don't panic, it will pair it up and uh, put the name in properly later. Hit continue as it gathers information about the device, which was very quick because I'm hitting continue again. I now get a passcode. And what I should see on the dash, yep, let me get back here, confirm. The computer would like to connect to the smartphone using Bluetooth. Yes, I want to add it. And now I need to enter that passcode. And I don't mind sharing that because it changes each and every time. So I'm entering that in as we speak. Actually, I might have messed that up, so let me start from the beginning. I have to use the Alt key for the numbers. Alt 3, Alt 3, Alt 9, Alt 8, Alt 0, Alt 4, Alt 7. And next. Let's see after I've entered that if it's been done properly. Actually, the first time I did this, I seem to... Oops, I might have put the wrong passcode. Let's do that again. Continue. Add the device, yes, passcode, Alt-1, Alt-3, Alt-3, Alt-9, Alt-8, Alt-0, Alt-4, Alt-7. And I finally got it, and now it says select the services, you don't need to, just hit continue. Congratulations, you can now use it as a pan, and that's the key right there. Let me see if I can zoom in. Use as a personal area network, because that is how you connect through internet sharing via Bluetooth. I'm going to hit quit here, and I'm going to go back for a second to the smartphone just to show you that we have successfully paired it. It has connected. I'm going to say OK. Enter the display name, which is the same display name as before. Say done, done, done. Just keep hitting done or exit. All right. And then you just do what I showed you yesterday. And that's nothing more than going to start. 
accessories, internet sharing, PC connection, Bluetooth pan, click connect. It says device has finished. So now we go to the Mac. Go back up to our Bluetooth icon. See, I told you it was convoluted. And you'll notice join network on T Mobile Dash. See that right there towards the bottom? That wasn't there before. I'm going to click it. And the Bluetooth icon has changed to show that I'm connected. And now let's do a refresh, which is Command R or Apple R. And let's see what happens. Remember, we're just using Edge here, so it's not going to be zippy. Page is loading. At least it says it's loading. Let me stop it. Try it again. And there we go. We are now surfing on the MacBook Pro without the Wi-Fi with Bluetooth using a Windows Mobile 6 smartphone. I don't want to say it's as simple as that because I know that's convoluted, but you know what? It is doable. So there you go, Jose, and all you other Mac users that have Windows Mobile smartphones, all three of you, I guess. <laughs> there you go. All right. Hope you enjoyed our, our little quick hit video. As for me, I'm going to go back to uh, resting up because I'm still tired after driving through the storms and the rain from Digital Experience. So, ciao for now.